Hello, Kalamazoo community, and even to our broader community. My name is Doug King. I have the honor of serving on the Isaac Executive Committee. Isaac stands for Interface Strategies for Advocacy and Action in the Community. We are a faith-based social justice organization. I just want to come to you with this brief video, just encouraging uh, you to vote. Um, this is a critical time uh, in our nation, a critical time in our community, and it is um, so important that we cast our vote and that we allow our vote uh, to matter and allow our voice to make the difference, especially to our black and brown brothers and sisters. So many people have died and so many people have sacrificed so that we could have this opportunity to allow our voice uh, to be heard. And so I just want to encourage you. I know it's difficult times and there's much tension and anxiety surrounding this time, but I want to encourage you to go in the power of, of solidarity to the polls if you have not already voted. Uh, our communities, our nation, our country is going through some significant emotional turmoil and tension. Dr. King, in one of his speeches about a week or so before an election at his time, said that uh, we must decide as a nation whether or not we are going to stand uh, and hold true to uh, the, the words of our founding fathers that we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, endowed by their created with certain inalienable rights. Uh, among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I mean, it's, it's designed so we can all uh, prosper. And I'm reminded, if you will, of the last line of the Pledge of Allegiance that we used to say, uh, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. We are here to come together and I want to encourage you to come together under the banner of love, under the banner of solidarity, under the banner of peace, under the banner of joy and let us come together and let us lock arms uh, as one uh, community, as one country, as one nation. Uh, we are better than it seems like um, we're able to the things that are going on now. So I just want to encourage you to um, let's press to the polls if you have not already voted and please cast your vote and let allow your voice to be heard. You are that important. Your voice and your vote are that important. Let us come together uh, under the banner of solidarity. Blessings to you. Hello, beloved Isaac community, a song of peace. Skin shalom, Skin shalom, Chen v'chesed v'rachamim. Chen v'chesed, chen v'chesed v'rachamim. V'rachamim, sim shalom. shalom. The words I just sang are the words of Sim Shalom, one of the Jewish prayers for peace. Now, a prayer for peace. Creator, source of peace, bless your people of Kalamazoo County with peace. May your desire that your creations live in peace come to pass. May you bring us closer to you underneath the wings of your presence. Creator, source of peace, we need your guidance now more than ever. Our beloved community needs you. Please do not hold back from us. At this, our hour of need. 
creator, source of peace, goodness, kindness, blessing, grace, and mercy. Bless all of us. Please bless us, all of us together, with your presence in our lives. Creator, source of peace, may extend peace to each of us. As you said through your prophet Isaiah, here I am extending peace to you like a river. May that promised peace come to be. We thank you and praise your name and let us say amen. Hi, my name is Adrian Vasquez. I'm the Executive Director of the Concilio and I'm here to say a few words. Um, uh, my hope is that we can move forward as one community, that we stay together and remove our differences. Let's move, let's move apart all those things that have we can, uh, so many people said they are bad, but let's not, let's, let's make, let's continue moving forward as one community. Uh, as an immigrant and been here for now over 20 years, I have seen so many good people, so many good things. El Concilio has been moving forward. It's continued to collaborate with many organizations and so many good people have given us a hand. And I think what this is one, what this contract is about, giving it in the hand when you need. It doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter what language you speak, it doesn't matter what religion you, you, you believe or your practice. What it matters is that we are here together to build a community, to find the best solutions for our problems and not to continue creating more problems. I encourage everybody to look deep inside your heart and, and when you find that deep feeling, rise up, go into your community. Let's do it in a, in a, in a peaceful way and let's build a community that we want, a community for all of us. Let's, 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 let's be the, the best we can for our future generations. Let's not stop for the bad things. Let's move forward for better things. So I'm here again as a friend, as a director of this organization, uh, as an ally. Let's stay together. Let's unite for this community. Take care of yourself and God bless. Mi gente, uh, les quiero mandar este mensaje, esas palabras de, de apoyo para todos, para que podamos continuar creciendo, progresando por los futuros de nuestras familias, generaciones que siguen adelante de nosotros. Estamos viendo tiempos difíciles, pero es muy importante de mover nuestras diferencias y encontrar la mejor manera de resolver muchos problemas. Y creo que la única manera será unidos, uh, dándonos la mano olvidando todas esas ma cosas malas. Creo que todo lo bueno lo podemos encontrar si continuamos trabajando unidos. So eso es mi deseo y estoy aquí para ustedes como director de esta organización y que trabajo con muchas organizaciones que nos han dado la mano para olvidar lo, lo, lo malo y mover adelante, seguir creciendo. Les deseo lo mejor y claro, que sin importar, les mover todas nuestras diferencias al lado. No hay que dejar que eso nos detenga. Les deseo lo mejor y aquí estoy para darle la mano y seguir adelante. Unidos solamente podremos sacar a nuestra comunidad adelante. Muchas gracias. Hello, Isaac family. I am the Reverend Rachel Lonberg, the minister at People's Church in Kalamazoo. And I have some tips for surviving these anxious election days. Tip number one, turn off the news at least for a little while. It will be back to greet you again in an hour. Your constant vigilance does not change outcomes. Do something else. Take care of your body. Ask yourself, what can I do to be 10% more comfortable in this moment? Maybe that's take a smooth breath or two. Maybe that's unclenching your jaw. Maybe that's having a glass of water or stretching out your back. Do that. Number three, find beauty and find joy. 
Maybe that's going to a beautiful natural place. Maybe that's listening to your favorite music. Maybe that's a movie that always makes you laugh. Whatever it is, we need beauty and we need joy. And finally, work to create the beloved community. We know that as important as this election is, it, is, it will neither be our ruin nor our redemption. The world needs us and our constant work to make the beloved community. So take the next small step to make it so. Perhaps that's reaching out to the people you love and letting them know that you love them, especially the people who are vulnerable now. Maybe that means if you have enough, sharing your abundance with people who have less or with organizations like Isaac and others who are working to make a more just world. And maybe that's starting to strategize with your neighbors, with your con congregations, with the people that you know who share your values about what we are going to do to keep each other safe and make our values real. And we will need to do that work regardless of what happens in this election. Take care of yourselves, dear ones. This is a hard time and we are apart, but we are together in this work. In the name of Allah, most forgiving, most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, my dear sisters and brothers in faith and humanity. My name is Maliha, I'm a Muslim and I attend Kalamazoo Islamic Center. Friends, today the atmosphere in the US is one of hostility and stress. COVID-19 seems to have messed up our mental and social balance, our equilibrium. We have become so divided and so conflicted. Many seem to be overwhelmed with all kinds of negative emotions, anger, bitterness, hate, and mainly fear. We fear the virus, we fear the future, we fear the government, we fear our neighbors, we fear people who are different from us. We even seem to fear our own selves and our reactions to events. The forces of darkness seem to be working overtime, pitting us against each other. You know, conflicts seem to have become worse within families, within communities, within organizations. And, you know, sadly, we have seen what that kind of conflict and violence, what kind of effect it can have on people. In this kind of a situation, is there any hope? Is there any way out of this darkness? Is there any light at the end of the tunnel? Lots of people have asked me this question. And I just want to say that there is hope. There is light. There is guidance. All you need to do is to have faith in your creator. And let me read out to you some really beautiful passages from our holy book that is the Quran. And these passages really tell us what to do in times of trials and difficulties. Friends, these kind of trials and difficulties are not new. They have been faced by people over the ages. And God, our creator, has given us guidelines on how we can handle these kind of situations. So the first thing we need to know is that nothing can happen to us except that which God has decreed for us. God tells us in the Quran, chapter 9, verse 51, say, nothing shall ever happen to us except what Allah has ordained for us. He is our guardian, Lord, protector. And in Allah, let the believers put their trust. So we need to trust that God is there for us. He is with us. He's protecting us, he's helping us. And that whatever happens, good or bad, good or bad, it's with his knowledge, 
and as part of his overall plan for us. We don't need to fear anything. We do need to take precautions. We do need to protect ourselves and our families, but we don't need to be debilitated by fear. Secondly, we need to understand that all forms of violence, hate, enmity comes from the forces of darkness. And the best way to defeat darkness is to stand together as one community of believers with love and friendship and mercy between us. Greetings, my name is Elder Dola Coleman Bonner and I am an associate minister at Seasons of Change Ministry located in the Edison neighborhood. I am also the director of diversity, equity, and inclusion for the city of Kalamazoo. As I reflect on the state of our world, our nation, our community, I have been asking God to help me find a place of hope and encouragement. Today, as I reflected, I felt that perhaps our country is finally in labor to deliver real equity. I've birthed two children. Both pregnancy and deliveries were messy, painful, filled with unexpected changes, and at the same time, filled with great expectation. But at the end, I delivered these two amazing gifts I get to claim as my own. Perhaps this is where we are in the equity birthing room. And this process is frightening and painful, painful, but I choose to have faith so I am filled with expectation. We need each other to birth real equity. Let's support righteousness, pray as we fight unrighteousness, and then take some time out of the fight to be strengthened, to come back out and fight, support, and pray some more. Let's have faith, not fear. Be blessed.